All right, and our second segment of the show today is going to be exclusively Ooh. on the Tony Romo injury. We just did a whole uh, series of, uh, of week three takeaways. We didn't even mention Romo once because we're dedicating his own. Uh, <laughs> and, say, and two weeks ago, we, de we did a, yeah. a, a video, and we're talking about how long will it, I think it was you, might yeah, even right, said, is right, there right. a line out yeah. for what week he goes down? And, we uh, did. What did we, I think I predicted week eight or I something. I swear to God, I think it was seven. It happened in the I think it was seven. And it I happened said, in the preseason. Oh, Pete. So, I don't know. So, if, if people jumped on the, uh, you know, the uh, Dallas team total under before the injury happened, yeah. they got a nice line. Uh, I had a guy told me that now he had the work done. He's got titanium in him. He's built like the six million dollar man. Yeah. You can't hurt him. Well, so, how'd that work out? I don't know what to think of it now because he's uh, going to be back, right? He's supposed to be out for six <laughs> to ten weeks, right? So, he'll be back maybe around week eight or so. Yeah. And then throwing it into the mix is that Dak Prescott has looked great, uh, as has Ezekiel Elliott. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the odds that I have here, I have some odds. I'm not sure um, what it is market-wide, but I caught this at five dimes. Okay. To win the NFC East, they're still the second choice, right behind the Giants at yeah. uh, plus 225. To not win the NFC East, it's minus 265. Giants Ooh. are the second choice, and then the Skins are at about uh, three to one. And then uh, to win the NFC, they're still tied with the Giants for sixth, I believe, at 15 to one. So, you know, the market has reacted, but still giving them, uh, you know, not sending them all the way down the down the ladder. What do you think? What do you make well, of all this? The damn Redskins don't get no loving from yeah, their books. Yeah, they don't. Three to one. <laughs> they don't yeah, get any sure. loving. Even, even after I, I, goes I mean, It just yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. yeah, I think it changes the whole dynamics of that division. And Pete, I think there's one thing, and again, I you know I love to get into the other side of this thing. Mm -hmm. This Dak Prescott has been nothing but impressive. Right. But I, I saw that in his senior year. This kid was the real deal sure. from the junior year to senior year until now. But here's the thing. This is the NFL and not for long is what it stands for. And that might mean results in preseason. Now, had this injury not happened, I think things were clicking along for this kid to really grasp, absorb, be a right. sponge be and learn. Right. Exactly. All of a sudden now, and he's got great, his, his numbers are fantastic, but now he is thrust into this spotlight. The pressure is now on. You think you're in a pressure cooker in college. Now you're, you're in Jerry Jones territory. All right, you talk about pressure. So will he perform? Yes, but guess what? Some of the best and some of the best are going to be flying at his ass defensively, left and right, early on. Yeah. And Ezekiel Elliott, too. Let's not forget, these are kids. These are young. I mean, they're young men. Yes, All right? Know. Guess what? Times are It's not going to be, it's not going to be um, a happy little time for, for the Dallas fans. Now, I heard they were this close to thinking about bringing Michael Vick in when I talked <laughs> at our, and when we had our meeting earlier, production meeting, they were that close. And then afterwards, I found out they said, guess what? Ah, scratch that. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking. As far as futures oh, are geez. concerned or win totals, uh, not real, don't really have an opinion, but I'm thinking that early on, because you're right, Prescott was great in the preseason, of course. but they're still going to oh. go in there weeks one, two, three, and four, and they're going to protect them. They're not going to ask them to do too much, yep. and that's bolstered by Ezekiel Elliott doing great uh, yes. on his own in the preseason. So I'm thinking unders with yeah. Dallas for the for the opening bunch of weeks. Uh, you know, how, how where will the totals be? How long will that uh, how long will that last? Not exactly sure, but um, as far as futures, I, I don't have a reaction, but I definitely think that maybe unders at least to start with Dallas. What do you think about that? I, I think that's a very, very good uh, insight mm -hmm. there, Pete, because you know, their defense, I don't think they're, if anything, defense is going to just tighten up here and realize now, hey, guess what? We got to do what we did before. We got to yeah. throw this on our shoulders. Can they do it? Hell yes. Yeah. So ah, look, look for the running game to open it up, but yeah. it's just going to take some time. And obviously, if they're leaning on the running game, that's going to be a very good, uh, you know, uh, insight for totals as well, mm -hmm. maybe do some unders. But there's one thing I notice, and I know it's just preseason, mm -hmm. but the Eagles are quietly 3-0. and Not that yeah, that really sure. matters, but this whole dynamic has changed in that yeah. division. you got the Skins getting no loving. All right, you got Dallas still with high expectations. The Giants, who were so underachieving in preseason, it's amazing they're still favored to win the division. Yeah, yeah. But all will be revealed, as Duke used to say, <laughs> my father. And with that being said, Pete, I can't wait for kickoff, yeah, baby. Uh, just to add one final note, uh, I do think, actually, that, that, that Philly's getting a little bit disrespectful. Yeah. I think that Chip Kelly not being there is going to help the defense. The defense is yeah. going to be uh, significantly off. improved with Philly. So I might be looking to uh, to bet on Philly. Uh, it's kind of like Cleveland weeks. now. All yeah. that right. shit's out. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they're getting a little bit disrespected. All right, Mike Brenner, nice breakdown on the impact of the Tony Romo injury. We, of course, will be back with our analysis oh. of Dallas's week one game. We will, but guess one. what, Pete? What's you that? know, week one, that means let's get real, let's make some money. And to do that, you better load up that toolbox. And part of that toolbox is, is Sportsbook Review Guide. All right, you guys, it's time. It's time to literally search and open up new accounts. Do the line shop and do yourself a favor. Get the best bonuses available. Sign up through SBR. Tell your friends about this, too, because I'm not kidding you. You can make money before the kickoff even starts. Sounds good.
If you like Captain American football, there's 50,000 dead presidents on the line in this year's Beat the Prick contest. In case you ain't fucking guessed, I'm the prick. Click on the link below for more info. I'm ready to stomp some ass. This is gonna be my best performance yet. So join today. It's free, you fucking squares.